Oh my God, am I going on vacation? This family of like a thousand people are taking so long to get on the bus. They have so much stuff. I was so amazed at this place. This is inside of the Bush Airport and it's so beautiful. Who puts some kind of crazy open-faced building in the airport like this? This was gorgeous to me. I had to eat here. Let's touch down in Seattle. And now, I will talk about my suite as best I can. When you exited the elevator, there was, there was this art, gears and stuff. I loved it. I love everything about this hotel. This hotel was life. It was existence. It was beauty. Truth. It was everything. I loved it. I loved all of the hexagon. The, the consistency of the hexagons everywhere, it just, it made me so happy. 
I stayed in room 908. It was very quiet and at the end of the hallway and I really could not have picked a better room myself. So just looking at those hexagons again, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. So when you entered the room, there was this cute little coffee area. Oh, before we start, we have to lock out the crazies. Lock that door, girl. Don't let him in. So here is an overview of the room. Check out this wall. The bed post, whatever it's called. So the bath area was in two parts. This was the toilet and sink room, obviously, with the very nice fluorescent lights. If there's such a thing, these are nice fluorescent lights. And yeah, there's the sink and the cute little soaps and stuff that comes in every hotel bathroom. But I really like the vibe. I even liked the dark route in between the tiles. I just thought that was a nice touch. And here is a piece of like aviation themed art. It is Seattle after all. Here we have some cute little chairs, a nice little sitting area. I love the tripod legs on the table. I love the color scheme, like the black and the gold and the kind of like light aqua and the brown. It's all just so gorgeous. This was, I guess, like the wardrobe. I guess this is what you would call this. And the robes, I love these robes. I'll show you the robe a little bit more later in the video. Got the Edison bulb lamp and a nice little table for writing or working. I didn't do any writing or working, but it was there. And this is the view out of the side or the front, I don't know, but out of one of the windows near the bed. little bench with the plaid covering. The bed was very comfortable. The pillows were okay, but the bed was very comfortable. And this cute little analog clock, I loved it. And this is the reason why I booked this hotel specifically in this suit because of this cloth foot tub. time enjoying it and I love everything about this wet room so the whole room you can shower you can bathe and you just close the door and it kept the water inside next I walked basically across the street to the Pacific Place shopping and dining area it's like a mall I think it's not listed as a mall but that's what it seemed to be to me. And it had a beautiful skylight. And all of these restaurants and shops and a sky bridge to the Nordstrom's where I bought the sweater that I wore on my birthday. I really enjoy all of the public pieces of art like the sparkly balls. I was obsessed with these like bubble balls that hung in between the escalators from the top to the, like halfway the building and all of these really cool places to go and take some selfies. I actually ended up eating at a restaurant in this place and it was really great.
Hello, it's me. <laughs> I sound like a frog when I first wake up. I'm coming to you from Seattle, where I am spending my birthday. And I'm really excited. I'm going to go on a seaplane ride like over Seattle here in a couple of hours. So wish me luck to everybody who has already sent me birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. I thank you so much. I am going to now have, wait first, get into this robe. Get into this robe. Can you see this? This is the hotel that I'm at. This robe is amazing and oh, I want to steal it. I'm not going to, but I want to. I'm going to have my cup of, I guess this is called Nescafe. It's like decaf coffee. It took me five minutes to figure out how to work the machine. The machine is right there in the background. <laughs> took forever to figure out how to work the machine because I do not drink coffee. I am not familiar with coffee machines. So I hope you have a good day. I will post some more stuff later when I sound better, when I'm awake and stuff. I slept like a baby last night. I was exhausted from the traveling and the stuff that I did yesterday, and I'm excited for today. So wish me luck on my seaplane ride and whatever other trouble I decide to get into. Thank you again for the birthday wishes if you've already sent me one. And thank you in advance if you want to send me one in the future. <laughs> okay, have a good day. I will talk to you in a little bit.
The seaplane ride was definitely the highlight of the day for me. I love planes, I love water, I love being up high, and wow, just being able to experience this and then experience it, it experience it on my birthday, I was so happy. You can definitely see it in my eyes. So I am going to just let you enjoy this really beautiful footage of the seaplane ride and what I got to see. And I was also very lucky, well, we were very lucky that the sky was pretty clear this day and you get to see a lot of Seattle. So enjoy, you can skip ahead to the rest of the video if you want to, but I do not recommend it. I recommend that you enjoy all of this beautiful footage of Seattle from the sky.
I am having a really good day with all these ducks or geese. There's one. Me and the geese, I make new friends. I am on the Great Wheel in Seattle, so exciting. This is so cool. I think I'm getting to the top. Here is the view. I don't know if I'm at the top or not. Here's the view, look at that cool boat. go around more than once. Look at this sunset. It's so pretty. Oh, and then over in the distance, there's the mountain. Is this... I think it's Mount Rainier, but I'm not sure. around again, I hope. Here we go. I hope they let us go around a few times. It's kind of going fast. <laughs> Oh man, so beautiful. And the winds are calm, so this pod that I'm in is actually quite steady. So pretty. My next stop was the Seattle Public Library. Well, one of the branches. I only went to this one. And I saw online that it had really beautiful architecture. And wow, is that an understatement. When you see this building from the street, you can tell that it's beautiful, but when you go inside and go up the escalators, and you're just greeted by all of this majesty. I don't know another word. This, this building was so modern, yet it was just so awe-inspiring at the same time. Um, you can see all of these gorgeous diamond patterns made from the steelwork all around the building and it was very quiet, very peaceful. I liked 
the vibe of the Seattleites. They were very chill and happy and it felt that way in the library as well. Everyone in the library was really friendly but also very quiet and respectful. And that gave me the chance to really enjoy all of the beautiful architecture in this gorgeous building. This was truly an amazing birthday trip. I had a really great time during this trip and I'm leaving you obviously with some images from the plane of is that farmland? Why are there circles? I looked at this and I could not figure out why. So while you are looking at it, if you know the answer, 
drop me a comment down below. Thanks for watching the video. I'm just so thankful to be able to have gone on this trip. I hope that you enjoyed following me along as I toured Seattle. It's a beautiful place. Can't wait to go back. And while you're here, go ahead and watch another video right now. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.